Welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and of course, subscribing. Please be sure when you do subscribe to pick that option, A-L-L, and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings are out here for you to view or when I go live to give out free messages in the chat line. So this is, as you know, a general reading, and that means that not every single card will resonate with every single one of you or the energy they carry. So take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. But you know something? All that information is posted below this video in the description box. So there you go. All right, my beautiful, beautiful souls, let's get on with your reading. Welcome Sagittarius. Here is your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of August the 17th to the 24th, 2020. We start off with our crowning energy today, Scorpio, and you have been given the King of Gabrielle. The King of Gabrielle is actually the King of Wands or Rods, and he steps up here and he has that ability to look at the whole picture. You may be dealing with a situation this week where you're going to have to leave all the menial little trivial uh, details to other people. You may be just having to focus on your goal and stepping forward, okay? You're <clears throat> and and um, don't be afraid actually to take a risk as well. You might be doing something new this week. Be willing to do that. Step up into that role model and take care of it, okay? You've learned from your past mistakes and now you can take stock of your limitations and gain new abilities. You're now able to draw on insight, okay, to move forward towards your future. This is a beautiful card of, you know, powerful energy, you being bold and inspiring and filled with vitality to move towards your goals, towards your final outcome. What is your goal here? Look at the whole picture, okay, the outcome that you want. And like I said, leave all the little details to other people this week. You're going to get some great prosperity coming out of this, great abundance coming out of this. Whatever this is that you're moving towards, you're going to see success with it. This is happiness and harmony within your home life, your family life, your relationships and of course your financial status as well. This is a beautiful beautiful card of energy coming into you being knowing that you're going to see success and you're going to be able to experience that. Okay the ten of pentacles absolutely beautiful card here of positive energy here. You've wor you're working hard you're staying focused towards your goals okay. It's about enjoying all the prosperity and worldly success that you can get because right now it's showing me that you're going through a successful prosperous phase right now. <clears throat> Coming in with your first card here, you've been given the High Priestess. And this is about you being able to, this has come up a lot. I have to say that with the other readings as well. A lot of you are tapping into your intuitive gifts and that's what she does. She trusts her intu intuition and when we trust her intuition, it usually doesn't steer us wrong, okay? The, she has the ability to walk between the shadow world and this world. She has the ability in her peripheral to see what's going on, you know, uh, right around her, right around her. Uh, and maybe not right in front of her, but around her. She's got the ability to find out what's going on in the background. Maybe there's some secrets that you're going to find out about in the near future here, and they're going to they're going to show up at the perfect time. Okay, so trust your own intuition about a situation here going on. This is about being able to see, you know, behind the scenes, lifting the veil of illusion and, you know, smoke and mirrors, and being able to look towards a, a, a situation. But you're doing the the detective work in the background to find out and get the information that you need. Okay, so this is about finding something out here and trusting your intuition on something. And on top of this, you've been given the seven of wands. <clears throat> And this is telling me that you've been pushing hard towards something here. This is about tell telling me that, you know, 
Um, you didn't refuse. You didn't back down. You're determined to find out what this secret or this information is and you're moving forward with it. Okay, you're going for broke. You know something's going on and you're going to get to the bottom of it. No matter what it is, you stay in, you know, you're going to stay in the fighting and battle mode until you find out what's going on here. So you could be dealing with other people. You could be struggling with opposition. You could be struggling, struggling with yourself and the energy within yourself at this time too. So let go of any fears okay and you know be honest and you know step up into your into your power here stay focused stay moving forward don't give up stay stand in your determined nation and your integrity you've got perspective and perspective is <clears throat> maybe stepping back and thinking about this situation or a situation because this is the hangman and it's a temporary mode it's a temporary pause maybe you're waiting for something to happen before you can make your move go out and do what it is you need to do uh, and move towards what it is you want We're we've all sort of been in this lockdown temporary hangman situation but the, it's lifting and at any time you can get off of this while you're here you're thinking you're contemplating you're doing your mental and <laughs> your mental work here you're 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 filling up your wisdom bank your book of knowledge while you're hanging here in limbo this is all about not being afraid don't change who you are and don't move don't uh don't uh back away from your own beliefs and don't be afraid to do something different the king of rods shows up wow the king of rods being able to step up and be strong and determined right this is about you knowing that you are moving forward in the direction that you want to go and you're determined okay you're powerful this is about being a role model and stepping up and uh, moving towards your goals here when you get off this off this pause situation you're moving forward towards your goals and it showed me here with the high priestess and the seven of rods stay determined stay moving towards your goals you're setting an example because you are stepping up into your leadership being a powerful leader the eight of Ariel, the eight of coins, working hard towards your goals. This is your job, career, perfecting something. Maybe some of you are taking a new form of study, a new course, something to enhance your career right now. Maybe that's what you're doing. And stay focused. Keep doing it. Keep moving towards your goals. Put your head down, as they say, and keep moving towards your goals. You are determined this week. You're working towards something. These cards are showing me this. You've got the Queen of Pentacles on top of it. But don't be too hard on yourself, okay? When you're doing this, don't be too hard on yourself because this is the this is about nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, being the ultimate mother. Uh, you might be, uh, you know, having to... Uh, take this course on the side maybe you're you know they're telling me maybe your work you, you're you you're taking this course in the evening because during the day you you're busy you're busy but <clears throat> you know that's what my guides are telling me okay but you know what you're going to be able to be able to uh mother yourself take care of yourself nurture yourself through a situation this week and in return you might be mothering and being able to show someone else the same thing some of you might actually be giving birth i mean look at the picture here she holds that beautiful pentacle there almost like she's got her hands on her on her abdomen here and this is saying this is taking care of business around you taking care of yourself uh you know <clears throat> looking after yourself here okay this is looking after yourself and maybe it's because here you're looking after yourself here with this eight of pentacles right you're moving forward and you're making the changes that are going to help you and you're doing it all by yourself you've got the eight of of cups there's going to be <clears throat> there's going to be something coming in here to you uh that's going to make you want to move in a new direction some of you aren't you know you know what you want you know where you want to go but you're just not there yet and it could have because you're in this lockdown this pause situation here with the with the hangman okay this is about being balanced and making sure that everything all your ducks in are, are in a row as they say crossing your t's dotting your i's and making sure that everything is in place before you take this move forward okay but you're looking for something for more meaningful in your life whether it's a relationship or whether it's uh, you know relocating whether it's the energy whether it's people around you whether it's your career again look what you've got you've got the ten of rods and this is pushing through a situation you're going to be doing an awful lot of hard work this week by the looks of things Sagittarius you're determined to move forward and push through no matter what but don't take on more than you can and don't <clears throat> try to push uh, any uh, any energy uphill okay don't take on too much responsibility also don't be too willing to please everybody 
okay you can't do that right um, you know you're making yourself a workhorse all right and you might be struggling with this so allocate some of these positions to other people again this is about alignment you, you know it lands right on the eight of cups which is about alignment and about balance as well so um, you know lighten your load a little bit okay try not to push yourself so hard but you're determined this week to do something again the balance card the two of coins, the two of pentacles, okay, having to balance a lot of different things, a lot of different jobs. So, you know, uh, again, I say allocate some of these jobs to other people or get yourself into alignment and take yourself to center and prioritize what you really need to do this week and then tick them off as you go through, okay? Don't take on so much. Sometimes, you know, we think we can, we think it's, you know, we think, oh, I'm capable of it, I'm just going to keep going. And, and you know what? You don't want to end up depleting your energy. Okay, so by all means, take care of yourself here. But this is about balance. Again, you're going to have reason to celebrate. Something's coming into you. Maybe somebody's announcing a birth and a, a wedding, uh, you know, a beautiful, happy occasion that you're going to be able to attend, whether you're doing it on Zoom or you're doing it in reality. Uh, there's, you know, that energy around us is, is beautiful, but not all of us can attend in person. But this is also the gift of being able to celebrate something that you've accomplished. You know, you're getting the rewards coming into you. Absolutely. Okay, so it's all about enjoying a happy event and having reason to do that. You're also in the process of dumping any emotional baggage that you've been carrying and that again is reason for you to feel freer, uh, you know, feel, freeing yourself of other people's expectations so that you can celebrate and be happy within yourself and who you are. You've got three beautiful rods here and you've got the ace of rods. Uh, you know, this is all about the beginning of something new and exciting happening to you, coming into you. This is beautiful energy. Uh, this is all about new beginnings. This is all about having belief in your own abilities and being able to move forward towards your goals. You're going to be passionate and excited about something coming into you. So be ready. Be ready to take on any new opportunities or options coming into you. Well, you've had your problems in the past, but I do see that things are changing here with the celebration card and you're, you and you're moving on. Uh, you know, this was something that brought you disappointment, brought you, uh, you know, maybe loss, unhappiness, uh, you know, grief of some sort. But I always look at this as a healing card. You learn from a situation. It could have been a third party that was a determining factor that caused this to happen. Uh, you know, you, you know, it could be the loss of a relationship, a job, a friendship, uh, anything. You know, when we look at the Three of Swords, it can be anything. It can be the loss of even the simplest things like your car keys. But here I see, I usually read it in the more serious, uh, you know, um, representation that it's loss of something okay and disappointment in something but you're healing through it you see all that yellow light illuminating illuminating around the outside of that heart it means that you dealt with it it means that you know it's cut dried and done and you're healing through a situation here so you have new opportunities coming in here beautiful new opportunities don't be afraid for the new opportunities perhaps it is a new opportunity of what you did lose a new relationship maybe it's a new job maybe it's you know a beautiful new opportunity of prosperity the three of Gabrielle, looking at your ships, the three of the three of rods, being able to look at your ships coming in, having, you know, having this beautiful vision to see your future unfold in a, in a prosperous, more successful way. And, you know, it's about fulfillment and luck and, and, you know, taking responsibility and, and, you know, being able to move up and see what's happening here, what's coming into you and looking at it with with promise, with a vision that you know it's going to happen. I love this card. You know, this is again, another. you've got the opportunity of the ace coming in and now you have the three. So this is starting a new journey. You know, you know, you want to move forward in a new direction and it's time to reflect on what you know to be right for you and what is available coming in with this offer of the ace. Okay. And, and it's not about taking risks. It's about you being able to explore and go off and map out where it is you want to go into new territory. All right. It's time to work with your plans. All right. And start to show others that you know you want to move forward. And we talked about that here with the Eight of Cups. Oh, 
Look what you got, the Ace of Pentacles. Of course you did. You got the Ace of Gabrielle. You've got the Ace of Pentacles now. This is all about new beginnings. This is all about moving forward. This is all about getting a beautiful, beautiful karmic gift coming into you that says, look what's going to happen here. This could have to do with a new job, a new career. This is reward for your hard work and effort. Okay, this is, you know, you being able to move forward and see that you're going to get something here. It's almost like, you know, you're walking around with a rabbit foot, the four leaf clover, you know, all those lucky charms that are in your pocket. And wow, all of a sudden now prosperity is coming in, right? So focus on the tangible. All right. Act, act as though you know you're going to get good results because this is rewards for efforts, my beautiful friends. And it could be rewards in anything. It could be rewards in your career as well. Five of Gabrielle. Don't get caught up in other people's. <clears throat> this is actually the five of Pentacles and it is the five of Gabrielle in the angel. But this is about not getting caught up in other people's drama. Okay. Letting go. Okay. Um, and letting go of any emotional uh, emotional. Uh, emotional energy here that other people are bringing and dumping on you don't take on their energy don't take on that from other people okay there could be somebody they want something that you have all right it's competition and rivalry rivalry okay it's quarreling over nothing all right so don't allow other people other people to hassle you or bring in their negative opinions and the best way to, to resolve this is walk away from it don't get involved in their drama You've got the King of Cups, beautiful, beautiful card. You've got a lot of power here. The King of uh, the King of Cups, the King of, of Wands. Uh, you've got the King of Wands twice here, and now you have the King of Water, the King of Cups. So this is all about being able to <clears throat> look at a situation and take control of it, and to be able to have emotional control. Okay, this is about you not letting <clears throat> maybe perhaps this situation here where somebody's kind of rivalry and, you know, somebody wanting to pull you into their drama. Uh, you're going to keep your head, uh, you know, in a crisis. You're going to keep your head above you. You're not going to get involved with this situation. Okay, because this king doesn't. He's, he's emotionally mature and he has this ability to, uh, you know, be a powerful influence. And maybe you're going to be getting some advice because often this king is a generous king. He comes in with heartfelt advice to help you with the situation. Maybe you're going to be discussing something with this water sign. Okay, uh, about this rivalry, about people competing with you, about people constantly poking you with a stick and wanting to get you involved in that. And he may step up and give you some heartfelt advice how to deal with it beautiful. Okay, let's see Sagittarius what we have here for our theme card. You are given moving forward. Get ready for positive chains. Yeah, baby, of course you are. Look at all the changes that are happening here. This is beautiful. We did get the the eight of cups. You're not quite there, but you're working towards those beautiful goals. Okay, so <clears throat> situations and events of the past are clearing and making way for positive changes now. Turn the negative experiences into a positive and more rewarding future. You have the resources and ability to move forward now. So take a leap of faith knowing that the your guides and angels will open the doors for you and, and present a clearer and smoother road ahead. Don't let fear or stagnation hold you back now. Your mantra today should be, I am ready to move forward with confidence. Yes, step up my beautiful Sagittarius. This is a beautiful reading here. You've got all these gifts coming in. You're leaving the past behind. You know, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of, uh, you know, the Ace of Wands. You're moving forward. And then to end up with this beautiful reason to celebrate and the Ten of Pentacles, you know, you're, you're moving on in a beautiful new direction. You've worked hard for it. Your outcome card from the wisdom of the Oracle is truth be told. So stand in your truth, okay? Honesty, accepting things at face value, right? Coming out of denial, maybe. The willingness to be transparent. Clarity of communication. That's what this card represents. So this is not the time for debate about which true truth is truer. This is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth, okay? And do it out loud and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open when you're communicating with others and with yourself, okay? Peel off the layers of denial that have kept you tied to an illusion. 
because it's going to set you free, free, okay? So, you know, maybe in a relationship, people tell you who they are very quickly if you're willing to listen to what they have to say and pay attention to how they behave. But you, okay, you need to engage in heartfelt, open conversation maybe with someone close to you. It's time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. Step up into your power. Step up into your truthfulness, okay? If you want to be something, you know, if it's an artist or whatever you want to be, creative, you need to make it your priority now, okay? You need to make this your priority, okay? Be honest about your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs, about prosperity, about your relationship to money or to compensation and to meaningful work. Ask yourself, what is true for me? And you'll find the key to abundance. Beautiful. What do you need to surrender to today? Surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Yeah, you're moving forward. You've decided to do that. You took the bull by the horns. You've, you've, you've definitely stepped up and you're making those moves to go towards your goals right now. And again, I tell you, do not allow other people to dictate your happiness or the direction you want to go on your journey. This is your journey. Beautiful. Trust it. Now, the only negative card here is from the tea leaf message, and this is spear, heartache over what you no longer have. So this is telling me, you know, maybe you went through this loss here. You're still healing, healing through this loss, right? And I want you to know that you're, you know, look at, I mean, very similar, right? You've got three swords and you've got this, you know, this spear type of sword thing here. Know that it takes time. Take all the time you need to heal through this situation, but you're going to because it's showing me that you're pushing on in a brand new direction here. Beautiful. Okay, my Sagittarians, this is your reading, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And again, never forget how far you've come, everything you've gotten through, all the times you have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't. All the mornings you got out of bed, no matter how hard it was. And you know, all the times you wanted to give up, <laughs> but you didn't. You got through another day. Never forget how much strength and you have learned and developed throughout all of these challenges. You need to remember always that the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. My prayers and blessings are that you stay in continued spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical good health. Please play safe, be safe, and stay safe, and I'll see you soon.